The SA80 has gone through a number of improvements, now designated the L85A3. There is a new colour to the rifle. This has been painted in Cerakote. Cerakote is a much harder uh, coating than the current SA80A2. We've also done it in flat dark earth, which blends better with the MTP. As you can see here, we have a new inline Picatinny rail across the top of the weapon. This will allow the current LDS, the lightweight day sight, to remain in place. The benefits that this brings is that we are able to place inline low light night sights in front of the LDS. The advantage that this brings is that you don't have to re-zero your day sight. Uh, with the change lever, we've placed a new stud to make sure that this doesn't over-rotate. We've increased the hole and put a bush in it. So this is to future-proof the weapon should the army have the requirement to have a standalone underslung grenade launcher that will slide on the bottom of the weapon and will be pinned in through that hole there. The handguard itself is more streamlined. It has key mod along the side here. This allows the sling loop to be moved and also the Picatinny rail on the other side so that the firer themselves can adapt the weapon much more to their own specification than was currently available on the A2. This is allowed for the laser light module, the LLM Mark III, to be placed on the weapon. The weapon itself in total is about 100 grams lighter than the A2. And the other advantage that the handguard has is that there is no impingement on the gas block, which is in here. Through user trials, we have noticed that this has increased accuracy as well as consistency of the A2. It was already excellent for the A2, but the A3 has taken it that step further.